us all, dude. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So right now I have Burt's Bees Lip Balm in, it's the flavor Watermelon. I actually, I really like it. Although weirdly enough, watermelon doesn't feel as hydrating as like vanilla bean or even dragon fruit lemonade, which is kind of weird. But anyways, I still love it. And I'm drinking water because I did not drink enough today and I was out in the sun all day. I've had a busy day, but I've been researching for today's video pretty much all day. So let's get into it. Today we are going to be talking about Sam and Nia. Now they are a YouTube couple. They are family vloggers. They vlog their kids. Um, honestly, I never watched them until I watched the Netflix docu-series um, about Ashley Madison, the site where you go to like have an affair. But we need to jump like a little bit backwards before we get into that. So Sam and Nia have been together since she was 15 years old. They've been, I think it's been 15 years now that they've been together. I feel like a little bit, it's been a little bit longer than that. But they started a YouTube channel. They did lip syncing videos in the car together and he was a night ER nurse. So he had a day job. I don't believe that she did. I think like I want to say she was a stay at home mom. That's kind of what I've gathered. But anyways, so before they started this YouTube channel about two years before, Sam signed up for the not really dating website, but it was basically it was straight up and it was a website for you to have an affair on. So he signed up for Ashley Madison late one night while he was working in the ER and he messaged like tons and tons of different women in the docuseries he said that it was like getting a lot of validation from these women that was kind of something that he was looking for and then shortly after kind of he started Ashley Madison a video on YouTube that he and Nia did together blew up it's where they're lip-syncing a frozen song so once that video blew up he sam got off ashley madison and the family began vlogging they got a lot of attention when sam okay so i got to explain this whole thing okay so one night nia gets up and she uses the bathroom but she doesn't flush then sam goes in the next morning gets like a dropper like one of those um, not an eye dropper but kind of like if you take oil or something out of a bottle it's got a little dropper so he took the dropper took a sample out of the toilet put it on a pregnancy test and then surprised her his wife and was like oh my god like guess what you're pregnant and this video got a ton of attention they were on a lot of news channels and whatnot because I mean it's not very common to have a husband find out that his wife is pregnant before she finds out so anyways they're super excited about that getting tons and tons of attention getting a lot of new subscribers to the channel so then they find out that she had a miscarriage and this was a really big thing that they talked about on their YouTube channel understand so except a lot of people think that the whole thing was fake but then it also kind of came out doctors were like yeah taking a diluted sample from like the toilet is not gonna get you an accurate pregnancy reading because there's not enough hormones in the sample to get in that cure reading like it's mixed with water so that's not very accurate and then the manufacturer supposedly i i heard someone mention this in the video the manufacturer of the pregnancy test was like yeah actually like our tests are not very accurate like you should see a doctor for you know to verify and sam and nia never did that that's one little controversy that they were in now keep in mind you guys this is not a deep dive about them okay I, like, I'm just going over a few things about Sam and Nia. This isn't a deep dive, but if you want a deep dive, let me know. I'm working on another one, but let me know if you want this one as a deep dive as well. So anyways, their channel blows up. He quits his job. They're vlogging full time. And then it was when they went to this like vlogger convention, like family vloggers and stuff like that, like would go to this vlogger convention. And it was while they were on the way there that like Sam found out that his name was on this Ashley Madison like leak in, in the hack. Cause Ashley Madison got hacked and then they were like, hey, shut down the site or like we're gonna start releasing your users information. And they didn't shut down the site. So then this hacker started releasing people's information, like email addresses, names, like people that had accounts on the site. And at first Sam like thought he could kind of get away with it. He was like, I'm just gonna pretend and like this isn't happening well then they're in the airport on the way to this vlogger convention thing and he sees a tweet that like calls him out and mentions that 
he is on this list. So while at the airport, he tells her, hey, I signed up for Ashley Madison. It was really dumb. I don't know why I did it. I never met up with anybody. Like I never did anything. So they kind of work through it and whatever. And then they release this really phony like apology video. He's like, I've asked for forgiveness from my wife. I've asked forgiveness from God and God's forgiven me, which I was like, okay, bold of you to just assume that God like just automatically forgave you. But that's a whole nother thing. So their faith is a big part of their YouTube channel as well. And that's really why I think he got a lot of negative attention because like people that are pretty religious are very, you know, anti-cheating, anti-divorce, anti, you know, a lot of things, but which isn't a bad thing, but I'm just saying like cheating is a big one. And it, so then a lot of people were like, oh, well, how good of a person are you if you then cheated on your wife with like kids and whatever? So anyways, supposedly she forgave him and whatnot. So then they go to this convention that they then get kicked out of. Well, we just got kicked out of Vlogger Fair, guys. Nia's really upset with me. So it was a couple other people. I made a really stupid rash decision while we were hanging out in the lounge. Um, they're just kind of explain. I won't mention any names, but there was a couple of vloggers, family vloggers at that, when we had our miscarriage, and we posted a comment on Twitter about being proud of our unborn baby, changing our lives, and making a huge difference in our lives. I um, retweeted it and said it was jacked up that I had said that. Another one liked it, so they pretty much teamed up and were bullying us, is what it was. That's all that it was. They were bullying our family. <sighs> the first guy I approached, um, I told him that, uh, I had read what he wrote, and it hurt our family, extremely hurt our family. It actually brought Nia to tears. And I told him I forgave him. I said, just want to let you know, man, you caused a lot of hurt within our family. But um, we've forgiven you, we've moved on, we've moved past this, and um, I just want to let you know we've forgiven you. But then today, I had approached the other guy. I couldn't help myself. He was attacking our family in a public forum. I just want to point out he liked a tweet. I hardly call that an attack. As another family fellow vlogger, it just really got to me. So I was going to approach him and let him know that I forgave him too. But instead of telling him that right away, I approached him and said, Hey man, I saw that you liked this post. I was wondering why you liked it. He said that he could like whatever he wants. He got, he got a little bit defensive right away. And um, he was just like, I can do whatever I want. I was like, I understand that, but can you, can you explain further why you liked it? Just so I better understand where you're coming from. I wanted to apologize. I told him I was sorry about it. I lost my cool. Nothing got physical at all. It was just a verbal altercation. But um, they weren't comfortable with us coming back in. He also apologizes and said he's an emotional wreck. These YouTubers are always so dramatic. Which I thought that was like... A really odd situation like you're gonna just go up to someone and say hey I forgive you for this but just know that it upset me it's like you can't really give someone forgiveness if they don't ask for it I don't know I could be wrong and I'm not 100% sure that that's how I feel but I just kind of feel like it's weird like if someone smacked you across the face and you're like I forgive you they'd be like okay fantastic I guess whatever I don't really care anyways so they get kicked out da 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 so then hmm, Sam starts getting texts from one of his brothers and is like, hey, you need to tell Nia the entire truth. Like, you're keeping things from her. Tell her the truth. She sees these texts and then he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So he pulls over the car on their way back from this vlogging convention and he was like, okay, okay, okay. Look, I wasn't totally honest with you. I did message a lot of people on Ashley Madison and I went to massage parlors and went to strip clubs. But I never did anything. I cheated in a lot of other ways, but like I... I didn't, you know, do da da da. I was like, okay, Jesus. So you said I made an account, but I didn't do anything. Then you're like, oh, okay, 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 wait, you got me. Here's what I did. So I don't understand how she can still be with this man if he has like lied to her multiple, multiple times and she just keeps like, yeah, okay, whatever. So anyways, they work through it. They end up staying together, which is pretty impressive. And then Netflix, you know, does this whole docu-series about Ashley Madison and they're involved in it and they tell their entire story. It's really good, you guys. Seriously, I recommend you go and you watch it because I loved it. I thought it was so interesting. I really cannot believe that we don't know who who leaked all that information it is mind-boggling to me but anyways so the docuseries really does focus on like different couples that were affected by this and in different ways which was really cool to see but sam and nia have been milking this stupid docuseries for a while now so on their youtube channel which by the way they have two and a half million subscribers which is amazing 
good for them. But on their YouTube channel, they like allude to it in one video. And they kind of allude to it in another video. And they keep talking about it until finally they're like, you know, we're doing this docu-series with Netflix. We're going to be a part of it. We're going to tell our story. They've talked about the scandal on their channel before. It's not like a secret or anything. But they're like, yeah, we're going to talk about it. And then... They just like keep plugging their book. They wrote a book and they're like, yeah, it's gonna have way more in it about our situation and what happened with the whole Ashley Madison thing than the docu-series even will. Like you should go get our book. We don't know when we're gonna release it. Sometime around when the docu-series is released, which was incredibly smart on their part. Like that was such a good idea to just drop the book when the docu-series dropped. So in a lot of the videos, that's all they're doing. Like. And it's crazy because the thumbnail, it really looks like they're going to talk about the Netflix show in their video, but they don't. They talk about it for a few minutes and then it's just like family vlogging and whatnot, which is really annoying. Like very heavy, heavy clickbait, but a lot of their channel is heavy clickbait. So it makes sense. But one thing that I thought was really interesting was that they set up a camera and they recorded their reaction to watching the docuseries, which was interesting. In one part, they are like, yeah, we don't really let, like, I thought they were going to focus more on, like, the human side of what happened, not, like, trying to figure out who the hackers were. It's like, okay, I mean, yeah, your story is for sure part of it, but, like, I mean, a lot of people really want to know who did the hack because the fact that we still don't know is actually kind of impressive. And then there was another couple in the docuseries that were very open sexually, and in one clip, the woman has a toy and Nia goes, I don't know why they left that in with that gal and the toy. I don't know why they left that in. Like, I just feel like that was unnecessary. And it's like, okay, first of all, don't be judgmental because someone's more open sexually than you maybe are. And then, yeah, and then she starts kind of bashing it about like, oh, I thought it was going to be more about the people that were affected, like the human stories, not who the, the hackers were. I was like, okay whatever. And then she does say though that Sam wasn't portrayed as bad as he definitely could have been, which I watched the whole docuseries, like I said, so good. But yeah, Sam really was not portrayed in a necessarily like bad, bad way. They really could have done him dirty and just like drug him through the mud, but they didn't. I felt like they were actually very forgiving when it came to him if that makes sense. So then in another video, they're like, oh, this is something we wish that they went to put in the docu-series. You want to know what that was? It was Sam reciting a movie line that came off super corny that they left in the documentary. And it's like, okay, so you clickbaited this entire video and it wasn't even anything salacious. It was just your husband, Sam, saying a movie quote that was super corny. Like, oh, the clickbait that these guys, oh, it's insane. But anyways, then they do release a few videos about, or that has like behind the scene footage of the docu-series. So like getting set up to shoot interviews for it and stuff like that, which is really cool. And for me is super interesting to see, but you don't really learn anything new from their videos. And like I said, they clickbait so much. Like it's unreal. And most of the time, all they're doing is just plugging their book. They're like, oh, you should go read it. Like Netflix left out a lot of context. We filmed for like whatever, 20 hours. They left out so much stuff. And it's like, yeah, no shit. Cause your story wasn't the only one that they were telling. So they're like, there's so much more context to what happened in our book, things that we haven't even talked about like on our channel before. So they're really making it seem like, oh yeah, you're getting the insider scoop to what happened and this and that. And then they talk about their kids and cause like a lot of people were commenting, oh my God, like your poor kids and whatever. And she's like, no, our daughter is like super glad that our older daughter is super glad that we stayed together and that we didn't break up. Um, a lot of the comments are super negative on their videos. There was one that was one video that actually had a ton of really supportive comments and whatnot but yeah so many of them were like wow this is really sad that you stayed with him like know your worth miss girl and then a lot of people were calling sam a narcissist which i kind of get because so he got a lot of validation from ashley madison and messaging with all these different people and then once our youtube channel like blew up and did well then he got validation from the likes and the views and stuff like that so i kind of see where people are saying oh you're a narcissist but i do think it was interesting that one video had a lot of really positive comments and then a lot of other ones had horrible mean comments but like I said you really don't learn anything new from their videos it's just a lot of clickbait and they talk about pretty much the same thing over and over again so I'm not going to show any clips from their videos if you guys want to go watch them for sure by all means do it but I just have a feeling I'll get a copyright claim if I use any clips from their videos so that's why I just 
told you the drama but anyway so that's kind of what's going on with sam and nia if you guys like i said want more uh of a video about them let me know but yeah i just thought this whole thing was so interesting and yeah like i said if you haven't seen the documentary go watch it it's phenomenal i would like sit through it and watch it again to be honest but that is it for me today thank you guys so much for sitting through this whole video and for watching and for hanging out with me i really appreciate it but that is it for me today i hope you guys had a great start to your week and let's finish this week strong all right come back tomorrow for or excuse me come back on friday for a new video bye guys